smell smoke. Yay! It's a bonfire! Now we can sing songs around it all day. Mr. Krabs, you set up a bonfire! Hey, SpongeBob, this ain't me. me. It'd be one of Plankton's tricks. Yes, Krabs. In order to get people to go to my restaurant, I have to burn every cookbook I can find. So when people have to eat, they have to come to my restaurant. I'll be a millionaire! Aye, but there's still me, the Krusty Krab. Why do you think I'm burning them in front of your restaurant? Uh-oh! Hey, you'll be getting away with this one, Plankton. Har 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 You think you can stop me? Tartar sauce. Hey, there ain't be no book burning for you today, bug. Har 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 har. Book burning got started in ancient China when King Shi Huangdi ordered his people to burn everything except for divination, medicine, and cooking. Later in the New Testament, in the book of Acts, early converts to Christianity who previously practiced sorcery burned their scrolls of spells. In 329, the library of Serapium in Alexandria was trashed, looted, and burned under the orders of Theodius I. Around 650, Ibn Ibn Affan, who oversaw the creation of the authoritative version of the Koran, also ordered that all other versions be destroyed. The books of John Wycliffe were burned by the illiterate Prague Archbishop in 1410. In the year 1500, in Spain, over a million Hebrew and Arabic books were burned under the orders of the Archbishop Ciceros. 1562 was the year when many Mayan manuscripts were burned under the orders of Friar Diego de Landa, acting bishop of the Yucatan. The Pope, in 1624, ordered that Martin Luther's German translation of the Bible be burnt. During the French Revolution in 1793, Robespierre burned all of the books that were deemed inappropriate toward reform in France. In 1917 Russia, all anti-communist books were burned so no one would get any capitalistic ideas. <clears throat> From the rise and fall of the Nazi Empire, Nazis burned books that were written by Jewish authors and other works considered un-Nazi. Shortly after World War II, in 1948, New York children, overseen by teachers, preachers, and parents, burned around 2,000 comic books. In 1992, Serbian nationalist guerrilla forces attacked the Oriental Institute, burning the entire collection of books and manuscripts. This is considered the largest book burning in modern history. And in recent years, various churches in America have burned Harry Potter books and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Patrick, I didn't realize how smart you are. I was reading cue cards. Ow.